The popularity of boba in America, is it helping Asians feel more accepted or is it making Asians too soft? Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. David and Andrew here. We have two very interesting and potentially competing articles about the state of Asian America. Yeah, they both came out this week. One of them got sent to me like 10 times. Another one somebody sent to me like five times. The first one is called The Bobification of America. It's written by a Taiwanese American talking about how, you know, Pete's, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Del Taco, they're all coming out with drinks. Oh yeah, Tim Hortons in Canada. They're all doing Asian drinks now, whether that's jelly, popping pearls. It's only a matter of time before they got boba boba. Oh yeah, they're doing brown sugar stripes as well. So that kind of shows how, uh, I guess, the profitability of boba has really caught the eye of these major Western corporations to for them to incorporate it in their menu items, possibly forever. Yep. So yeah, you can get a Yuzu Citrus Sparkler drink, you know, at Pete's now. Point number two, Andrew, the article that also got sent to us was that despite the lack of media coverage, because the media switches cycles so much, Asian hate hasn't really gone down much at all. Like there's still violent incidents, nonviolent incidents. Of course, most recently, the more tragic one that comes to mind, Con Fung had the same last name as us, mm -hmm. was murdered in Oakland. So it's like these two things are happening at the same time, Andrew. America is becoming more boba eyes on the fancy drink side. And then also attacks on Asians, verbal or, or or violent, actually physically, both also unchanged. Now, I would say a lot of people, you know, they see these two stats and both are on the rise. Like if it's on a graph, the popularity of boba and, you know, uh, hate incidents towards Asians are both rising. But why would they be linked? Because I think a lot of people generally think that if uh, you're being more visible, if your culture is being more spread, if more non-Asians are consuming uh, your culture inspired products, whether that be physical or food or whatever it is, then maybe more people would have empathy for your group and then maybe there'd be less hate towards it. Yeah, I mean, I think the truth is the fancy dessert spot, uh, I'm sorry, the fancy dessert drink space does not dictate the streets. Like there's no direct correlation. That would be like saying like ballet dictates like the NFL or like something really, you know, equestrian dictates like track and field. So so you're, what you're saying is potentially that if you're like an Asian American or let's just narrow it down to Chinese American growing up a, in a middle to upper middle class suburb at the boba shop sharing boba and boba inspired drinks with your non-Asian friends, you're seeing the upside of that. Yeah, you get to show your friend Sally or your friend Ben the uh, Yuzu Citrus or matcha yeah. latte now at Pete's where previously you had to drink European drinks like mocha frappuccino chips or whatever. Yeah, but then the, the you know, more lower income immigrant who's working a blue collar job in the city, they're seeing like almost more downside than ever. Yeah. So, so the Asian Americans that are in the upper middle class or in a more comfortable space, I'll just say, are experiencing a higher upside. And then there's other Asians that are experiencing a lower downside. Yeah, it feels like I think it it's feels a tale way. of two Asian Americas and that's always been that way, uh, specifically split between East Asians and Southeast Asians. But I'll even go so far as to say it's just two different Chinese Americas because obviously most boba shops being from Taiwan are Chinese owned. And a lot of the people getting shot right now or that I've seen at least on some of the murders, you know what I mean? And I hate to bring up such a morose thing and tragic thing, but I think a lot of them are Chinese as well. So. I just think on both sides, like you said, the upside is getting higher for the kids growing up in these upper middle class suburbs. They got more stuff to share. And on the downside, you know, these first generation immigrants, uh, not uh, as much privilege, maybe not as much education, may be documented, maybe undocumented. They're dying at the same rate that they always did, or if not more. Yeah, I, I wanna talk about this comment and this kind of like hypothesis. I don't know if it's always a half joke on the internet, but a lot of people are like, man, the rise of boba and the popularity of boba is making Asian soft. Because by the way, the rise of boba products just goes to show you there's a market for it. And ultimately people vote with their wallet books. You know, Asians are showing you what they desire. When they want yeah. to go see crazy rich Asians, you wanna see rich Asians, right? Or you wanna to go to these fancy boba shops, you wanna spend your 20, $30 here at this dessert spot, right? For this soft dessert that's like a souffle pancake, perhaps, you know, it's just from Japan. Yeah, but I'm saying obviously, I don't think that there's a direct link, but it does show you where the mindset of the community is at and what they want to invest in and what they want to spend their time to build. Um, you know, I think that obviously the in the incidences where people have had a, a heinous crime committed against them, I don't think either party, either the victim or the perpetrator drinks boba. To be honest, right. like I don't think in the Asian hate incidents, 
either side is drinking boba. You know what I mean? But like, as to your point, people do focus on certain sectors and it kind of shows you how people are, uh, where, where their head is at. Yeah, I mean, I think some one way that I look at it, and of course we ride for Asian culture, right guys? This is what this whole channel is about. So when I say this, obviously I'm not like going against Asian culture, uh, but I something it's like, when you, when there's, there's certain pop cultures from Asia, right? That are very like uh, clean and very soft and cute, right? And they come from such a more Confucian and safe collectivist society Talk from about over Pusheen there. culture, gel yeah. pen culture, Tamagotchi I mean, culture. Whatever Anime it is. culture, K-pop, boba K -dramas. cafe culture, right? Let's just put it like you know, that, right? Let's just put up all the things you see, yeah. corgi butts, all this type <laughs> um, of things I've seen at boba shops. Because you guys know we we eat everything. Gu Gude Tama, you know, like I'll all be, these I'll, fun you know, things. Like when it comes to like just Chinese food, we won't just go to Gude Tama spots, even though we've been there. But we'll go to hood Chinese spots yeah. with bulletproof glass and whatever, whatever. And I'm saying like, if you take all those products from there and you're trying to shroud yourself and surround yourself in that culture here in America, when you're staying here in America, then it probably doesn't really fully prepare you for the realities of this country. Cause this is a wild place, man. People have freedom. People are running around with like, you know, drugs and weapons and guns and all this stuff, like potentially, right? And I'm saying like, those societies aren't like that. So when you are trying to surround yourself in a product from that society here, it's just not, it doesn't actually make a lot of sense. And I'm not saying people need to be more Americanized for sure. I'm just saying you have to be aware of this. Yeah, I think that you people just have to be aware. Have to understand how to use their third places. Like third places is not school, it's not home, it's a third place. This is a common term used in hospitality and F and B and things like that. You're creating a third space for people. Uh third spaces, especially the boba shops in the suburbs that are meant to be more third spaces. I think in cities they tend to be more grab and go because that's the nature of the economics. But like these third spaces. They are a reprieve from often the hyper contentious and potentially hostile nature of American life. Uh, but I just think that people need to use these third spaces to try to think of programs to, to help other people. Not, not that they just have to spend every single conversation, you know? Some people want to talk about Singles Inferno. Mm -hmm. Some people want to talk about the new Squid Th Games. That's fine. And this, yeah. and who got this movie role and that movie role and all these like foofy things that are still important, but they're foofy. And it's like, we just can't, I just wish we would take the totality more into consideration. Like, yeah, I think the people who are enjoying the upside could dedicate a portion of time to thinking how to impact, at least in the slightest bit, people who are getting it the worst on the downside, because you don't mm -hmm. understand how big this disparity and this chasm is. One is excited that they get to take their friend Sally or Ben to get a matcha drink at Pete's and somebody's literally worried that they're going to get like really hurt or killed just the next work day yeah and nobody's gonna care yeah and and i think like maybe if it's a tall order for a lot of the people that like to hang out at boba shops to think about these big problems at least like figure it out for yourself because it's like you know when you go on a hike and you know you're gonna be in different terrain what do you do david you put on certain shoes like oh which shoes got the hardest rubber got the best grip most stability i'm gonna be hiking all day you don't wear your like soft soled shoes for a hike and America is just kind of that crazy, especially in the city. I'm not saying all neighborhoods are, are the same as New York and Oakland and Philly and everything like that. But I'm just saying like, you know, there's a different world out there. And like, you know, as, as it just goes to show you what kind of mindset a lot of Asians want to be in. Yeah, I mean, it's a good question. It's a tough question. I think there's no real easy answer. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. We will be donating to Con Fung's you know, go fund me for his memorial, RIP. And, you know, it's just something that is that, that we're going to keep talking about. I know it's not the most pop thing to talk about, but I think it's important. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.